was perversely amusing to read the comments of an Ontario Lottery and Gaming spokesman a while back. The wannabe damage control expert was trying to deflect attention from the latest lotto scandal involving insider scams, and his strategy in the press release was to actually lecture parents to refrain from giving lottery tickets as gifts to their children. Said he, lottery tickets are for adults, not kids. There are a lot of things we restrict to certain ages in our society, and this is one of them. Oh, really? Once again, the OLG hits the jackpot when it comes to egregious hypocrisy. Case in point, if lottery tickets are indeed so bad for the small fry set, why, pray tell, does the OLG market several scratch tickets aimed directly at, you guessed it, <laughs> children? Of the various branded OLG scratch ticket games available today, surely the most disturbing include such current kid-focused games as Tetris and Scrabble. In previous years, the OLG has also offered scratch cards based on Monopoly, Clue, and Battleship. By the way, Battleship the board game, that's for children 7 and over, whereas Battleship the scratch ticket, that's for adults 18 plus. Marketing an adults-only gambling pro pro product that just happens to appeal to the grade 1 demographic is nothing but morally reprehensible, especially when the OLG, in its new role, is looking to be the moral compass for parents when it comes to gift giving. Worse, is the OLG so desperate for customers these days that it wants kids to get hooked on scratch games based on board games embraced by the YTV demographic? Hasn't the OLG marketing department learned anything from the Joe Camel fiasco? And I don't mean to be rude, but why is the OLG forking over considerable amounts of taxpayer funds in order to pay licensing fees to the likes of Endemol International, the owners of Deal or No Deal, and Fremantle Media, the owners of The Price is Right, and several other foreign companies. Surely paying huge sums of money to rights holders rather than investing the money in the province is dubious at best. I mean, after all, the OLG enjoys a monopoly on lottery ticket gambling. Surely it would sell just as many scratch tickets if its products were based on if its products weren't based on American TV shows and board games. Incredibly, when I tried to determine how much taxpayer money the OLG is forking over to private companies, yet another OLG spokes thingy told me to file a freedom of information request. So much for the new and improved and transparent OLG that we were promised after the inglorious fallout from the Fifth Estate exposés and that scathing report by Ombudsman Andre Marin. Still, the dollars squandered on unneeded licensed properties surely must run into the millions. After all, it is known that the OLG spent $5.84 million on its corporate rebranding initiative. Who asked for this? And where's the return on investment? It's also galling. The ostensible policy reason for having the government in the lottery business in the first place, much like having the government in the liquor business, is social responsibility. Well, if that's the case, why does the OLG, and for that matter, the LCBO, spend millions on whiz-bang product promotion campaigns geared at moving the merchandise, but they only dole out a few shekels on social responsibility message, such as the laughable Know Your Limit Play Within It campaign. Sorry, but one cannot suck and blow at the same time. Years ago, I asked former OLG spokeswoman Teresa Roncon why the OLG feels compelled to offer branded scratch tickets and spend millions on advertising campaigns when the OLG already enjoys a state-sanctioned monopoly on such gambling. Roncon's response reeked of both ignorance and arrogance. Ontario, she sniffed, is a province, not a state. I'm not making this up, folks. That's what she said. In any event, the next time an odious organiza organization such as the OLG wants to get all preachy with Ontarians and might just want to look in the mirror first, assuming it can stomach the reflection. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies.